So I bought a whole bunch of linen panels and I was super intimidated by the biggest sizes I had. So I just kept on kicking that can down the road. I didn't want to face it. There was a lot of thoughts in my mind that maybe I should cut them down and do smaller sizes. To me, there was something very intimidating about doing a bigger painting. It's, I think the, I think it's like there's more room to miss. It's like if you have a couple smaller paintings, you can kind of say that it didn't work out or whatever for whatever reason and just throw them out paint over them. I'm, I'm a thrower. Runner. I'm not a paint over guy, but I would just likely get rid of them. And I also think that if you have these big paintings and they suck, it's not that great. I'm trying to put together a collection, a collection of finished paintings. I'm kind of, it's a work in progress to put it all together. Basically, when I don't have my own photo reference, I find copyright free images, but my longer term plan is to hire models and put them in costumes and go out and take pictures. The thing is, is that I don't really know that much about photography. So it's like a whole nother skill to learn on top of already having to learn painting and having to navigate everything, navigate having a painting career with like a full-time job. And it's just a lot of time that I don't need to spend painting. So long story long, I decided to take my little cousin out and I took photos with her. And so I bought this dress and a hat and we went in uh, this little costume basically. And we went and had a photo shoot and I had this whole series of photos. And so when I was left, I was left basically, I, I bulk ordered all these linen canvases or panels, sorry. And I was left with my two biggest sizes and I was really intimidated. Like I said, I was worried about cutting them down. And then um, I found this reference photo of her picking up some sticks at the river. And I really liked it. I thought it would be a pretty good composition. Not the necessarily the strongest. I would have, I think I overall, I like to have a little bit more dark in some of my paintings, but this was just kind of in the mid afternoon sun and it was a good pose. I think I like painting right now. I didn't know this at the time when I was taking photos, but I think that I really like um, painting photos or references or um, composing images, I guess I should say. I like composing images where the model's face is partly hidden. I think it gives the viewer more leeway into projecting someone else into their own shoes where if it's like a straight on, if it's a straight on pose, generally the question the viewer asks is who is this? Which is a good question to ask if that's what you want them to ask, but sometimes you just want them to view the work or see something else in it. And so basically I decided that I was going to get over it and I was going to try to tackle it and I was going to be bold and I was going to be a man and I was just going to put it all together. And so I started painting. I think my biggest takeaway out of doing this painting was I, I think I just need to believe in myself a little bit more. Uh, you know, I've been watching back some of the videos and seeing some of the paintings that I've made over the last year. And while I wish that I was a bit more prolific, I'm really, really happy with the progress that I've been making. And I think that once I got into this, I could see the potential for that it was going to be like a dope painting. And I need to believe in myself more. I need to believe in myself that I can bring these things to fruition. And I need to start making some bolder choices in the sense of not being intimidated by that larger size or by the blank cameras or by the subject matter. Like I just need to go into it. And I'm really, really happy with some of the choices that I made. I think that some of the biggest takeaways that I had was the interplay of the shadow shape and the light shape and how the contrast of the edge really makes for a nice focal spot and also how it brings the viewer's eye in. I've also been playing with leaving higher contrast in the areas of focus. So in the hand where she's actually picking up the sticks off the ground that has the darkest darks and then also contrasted with some of the lightest lights. So the lights on her dress are the whitest, but it's the it's the most contrast there. And it's definitely more of the focal range. And um, it was something I really liked. I really also liked how I left most of the background fairly loose. I think I could have, uh, there was just some little things that I wish I could have done a little bit better, but that's all part of 
that's all part of the stage that I'm at right now is that I'm going to make things that are pretty good, but there's probably a couple of things that I would change about them. For some reason, finishing this painting to me felt like turning over a new leaf. It felt like I'm walking down a new path, even though I've just been steadily marching down where I needed to go. I, f I feel like this is like a, the signal of progress for me. And um, my next couple of paintings I should be, I'm really quite excited for. I've hired a new model and I'm going to be taking my own pictures and hopefully get enough stuff that I can make it through the winter. But I'm really trying to put together a collection and I'm kind of, I was just, I didn't have any plans for it explicitly, but now that I am making the paintings, I'm discovering what it is and I can see how my whole, everything's just working together right now and it's really cool and I, I feel that I'm going to crush some paintings and I'm excited for it and I've got one more of these huge canvas panels left. And then I'm going to be on to some, or sorry, linen panels. And then I'm going to be on to some other ones. And that should be fun too. And that's pretty much all i got to say about this one. I feel that it went pretty well. And yeah, that's all. Take care. Bye.